I don't know why I'm in my falsetto this morning. Guys, we're back. Young Royals is back. I feel like it's been ages. Now, obviously, it's going to feel like that considering I literally watched the first season right before, essentially, the, the second one came out, so I didn't have to really wait. This one I had to wait for, you know? But we're back! Last and final season, people. How are we feeling? I'm not doing well. Yesterday, I did, in fact, re-watch my reactions. My little 20-minute segments really came in clutch. Um, so I do feel quite refreshed, I'm not gonna lie. Things I'm excited to figure out and find out about would be Sarah, right? She's off to the police. Why? Okay? She's a wild card for me, and I think it would be almost too easy to imagine her going to the police and doing what we want of her, which would be to report August with the receipts of someone like a key eyewitness, you know? She saw the host send the message on the school computer. That's the first thing. Second thing, obviously the speech happened at the very end. Very powerful, very moving, very sickening. The, the speech is going to have repercussions, right? That's an obvious. Whether that be with mum, the queen, in general, the rest of the royal family, I'm sure. The school, Hilershka, they're gonna have something to, something to say about it. I know that for damn fucking sure. And the, obviously the kids at the at Hilershka and the public. I'm expecting some homophobia. I am. Like we don't get enough on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm expecting some more homophobia. I'm expecting some backlash from the public. I really am. Because they've chosen each other and Ville has really said, you know what? We're gonna go public and we're gonna, do, we're gonna just do this and I don't give a fuck, right? The thing is, mum, you brought me into this life and you will accept me for who I am or not at all, okay? I picked out something purple. This is basically the only purple item that I own other than my own merch. And I didn't think you guys would appreciate that. So this is what you're getting. Um, dad call. With all that said, let's crack on in. Uh, before we do, to the patrons. Thanks for being over there. Thanks for supporting me over there. It really does not go unnoticed. This episode will be up on Patreon by the time you're seeing this. Um, as will the rest of the season, obviously, as we go. So if you want to see every single episode completely completely unedited, then you know where to find it. Um, it is over there, and I'm hoping you're going to be seeing this on YouTube the same day that I'm filming it. So we'll see about that. But the patrons will be. I've got a second channel, Bit More Brad, for content besides reactions, if that interests you at all. A lot of fun things happen over there. I'm loving having that channel. It just keeps things fresh for me. I also post my podcast, Morning Glory, over on over on the second channel, as well as obviously on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all the things. If you are more of an audio girly, there you are. And finally, my website at slash brand, Bow by Brad. I just launched some really fun hot teas for you hot people, both mind, body, and soul, okay? It's not just appearance, it's all up here. There is also a bunch of saucy artwork over there if you are into your erotic artwork moments there's a bunch over there so yeah with all that said let's go because it's been a long intro Dun -dun. fuck what do you mean august and his lawyer and simon and his counsel is coming Did Sarah properly go to the police? Is this what we're saying here? Is this like the backlash of like a police thing or is it just the backlash from his speech? <coughs> and mum's not looking at us, well she can fuck off. Don't mind me, I'm but a flicker out here. Represent the lost and troubled souls out there. Every time. Every time guys, the soundtrack slaps. You bibble tucks your face while I paint mine. We make it dust. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. She's really good. I'm just in the center of the mush, make it dust. Make it dust now, I feel like a whore. Oh, come on, Simon, then I guess we're gonna go through some more bullshit. We did go through a momentary relapse. That's not that's not the correct word, I don't think. We had a momentary lapse in judgment last season with Marcus, so I'm hoping he's not even in this season, to be quite honest. Is 
Isn't it so sad that like the beginning and the flourishing of a new relationship is so fucking dreadful? Like this is misery. We're all sat here with faces like slapped asses. Because again. <laughs> Whoa. Konsekvenserna av den här videon har varit enorma för de två målsägandena. Hans hö. Mm. Vi vill tillsammans med er se över möjligheterna att nå en förlikning. Oh, so they wanting to squash it between us rather than letting it go to trial. Why should it get off so easy? Frågan är om videon i sig skulle anses vara särskilt explicit. Videon är ju relativt oskyldig. This video is relatively innocent. What the fuck are you talking about, my guy? Folk ringer mig i natten. Vi får hårt brev till vår hem. Well, he's going to say that, yeah, because he's obviously in defense of fucking August in this situation. But I'm sorry, you're not the one going through it, my guy. So you're not the one that's going to tell me that it's relatively innocent. It's child pornography! So let them sit there and look at me like I'm a piss person. You are. Oh, fuck. Do you understand? Ibland kan det bara vara skönt att acceptera att man är en liten pissmänniska. Vad snackar du om piss? Du tycker att du är en pissmänniska? Yes! I do. I do, absolutely. Så här är det. Kungahuset vill inte ta det här till rättegång. Och då står du helt ensam mot August och hans advokat. Of course the royals don't want to take it any fucking further because they're afraid of being seen in a shitty, shitty light which is the truth! I need to stop getting angry. Jag flyttat inte till Sverige för att mina barn skulle lära sig att ta emot motor. Period. De kommer försöka gräva upp all möjlig skit. Och ville så att han kommer behöva sälja sin pappas herrgård för att betala. Jag orkar inte mer. I, that is understandable because realistically, yeah, like going to trial and like properly trying to go through all this bullshit is going to drag up a lot of shit, and it's just going to be yeah even more of a media frenzy. But at the same time, it's just one of those situations where like you want the person to be reprimanded for their actions, you know? It's a real tough one. Don't look at me like that, because I'm going to start simping again so early. Just let me be gay, man. Let me be gay and get my end away, I tell you what. Jag hade drömt att det ska vara. Jag kan eh, visa dig. Oh, come on, please. A bit of fucking happiness, please. Please! Oh, guys, it's really, it's really looking at us in some sort of way. Here. Kiss, please. Come on now. What are we fiddling with a fucking curtain for? Smooth, okay, smooth. <laughs> yes! See, look, do you know what I mean? What is so bad about that? It's so weird to me that everyone makes being gay such a problem. Oh yeah, grab it! <laughs> Kronprinsen, vi behöver fortsätta. Ja, vi kommer. Oh, shut up, Fanny May. Fanny May. <laughs> yeah, we're both gonna feel a bit more at ease now. We've had a quick tossle in the bedroom. Ni gör hur ni vill, men jag tänker att inte lära mina barn att visa kommer undan lagen. That's really pussy. Ja, om vi ska nå en förlikning så kan August här tänka sig att inte anmäla Simon. Oh yeah, the drugs. Sorry, I forgot about the fucking drugs. Eller kronprinsen för det faktum att hans höghet hotade August till livet med ett gevär. Deserved. Deserved. Shoot him! Shoot him! Behöver vi en försäkring från Kungahuset? Att August får en officiell titel som näst i tronföljden efter kronprinsen. I'm desperate. Du kommer aldrig vara en del av min familj. Titta på mig! Om du tror att jag kommer låta dig ta över så ska du glömma det. Period. Du, dina problem började långt innan mig. Är det sant? Det vet du. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong. It, it, didn't, it didn't necessarily love the whole royal vibes before August got involved. I will agree that with that. 
People are allowed to not want to live a life that was chosen for them. That's completely fair. But their personal life being put on blast in the media, it's a different thing completely, if you ask me. It's not me who is known for the people on the chest. You know what? You're a crazy I'm sorry, if the royal family just backed Ville completely and like, actually took into account that, like, he is your son, it would set up such a good precedent. I don't want that you should forgive August. We can't have such scandals anymore. We... Guys, it doesn't have to be a scandal if we don't treat it like one. Do you know what I mean? Well, maybe that's wishful thinking. I thought you that Eric would have said if he had seen you like this. That was piss poor on, on the Queen's part, bringing up his dead brother. I didn't catch that during filming, and I mean, you'll be seeing me again because there's other things that I missed. But that was shitty, Miss Queenie. We're not going to play the dead brother card. So this is not a joke. I love her, Your Majesty. Both I and Wilhelm will kill us. Stop trying to kiss ass. I can't be asked. She, she don't need to fucking cry. She's late. She's made up and she'll fucking lie in it. Let him take over and let's make things gay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no sympathy. I understand she's probably not been able to mourn Eric, for example, because I mean, you've got duties. But I've got no sympathy. Fuck her. Hello, Felice. How are we doing? Felice Navidad. Da, 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 da. Guys, we had to do it. Come on. Come on now. Everybody knows. Felice Navidad. I'm not really worried about her. Also, I'm not really worried about her. I think she can like stop whining now. Yes. She needs to be careful because I think the fact that she's a lesbian is going to come out. What do you write about her? I'm not going to write about her. I'm not going to write about her. Ville kommer tillbaka idag. Det är ju liksom första gången som vi ser honom sen jubileet. Alltså han... Oh, I just know some of these hoes are gonna be acting foolish. And I'm gonna get mad. Jag kommer inte sluta träffa Simon. Det är det ingen som säger. Så kan den hjälpa oss att modernisera bilden av monarkin som en naturlig del av ett tolerant Sverige. This is what I'm fucking talking about. Let's not treat it like such a, such a scandal. Vi ser bara en potentiell risk i det här. Att Simon inte förstår att allt han gör från och med nu faller tillbaka på dig. Han får inte under några omständigheter prata med journalister. Is that some sort of foreshadowing? Right, is, is Simon gonna touch some sort of journalist in this season or something? Kissa i den här. Listen to this. Aparentemente no sé nada. Ustedes no me dicen nada de lo que está pasando en esta casa. Mommy's mad. Oh God, and Sarah's there. Fucking, fucking hell. So did she go to the police or what? Where's her mende? You know, just all the bullshit and repercussions coming from partly your doing. Allt det här är ditt fel. Not all of it, but she played a huge part. Jag anmälde i August bara för att visa dig att jag var på din sida. She did, and that's what brought up all this trial and shit. Okay, got it. Snälla, kan du bara inte vara här? Snälla, du har förstört mitt liv och nu blir jag förnedrad i mitt fucking hem! I'm sorry, Sarah. Our actions do have consequences, my, ga my gal. Fråga en massa andra grejer också. Vad som hände för fett länge sedan. Om invigningarna och grejer. The initiation. I remember it was fucking grotty. But I don't really remember what happened. Uh, there was so I felt like there was some sort of spit involved. <laughs> I don't know. I just remember gipping. <laughs> no. That's disgusting. If I was in this position, I'd have to fuck with them a little bit. Someone's gonna end up talking to a reporter, aren't they? He looks really good in pink. Get it. Get it, my guy! No point keeping it secret now, is there, baby? The way I just want to run and just... 
There is this whole subplot of him kind of just hating himself, which does kind of make sense why he's so determined to make something of himself. Do you know what I mean? And he's willing to go to any length. God. I'm covered these days. I've got fucking 15 in one year. Ditt ex, Marcus Sköld, han sa i alla fall att det verkade vara ganska problematiskt. Oh, Marcus. Why is Marcus chatting shit? Har någon kommentar till det på sånt? No, no. Keep walking. We don't give a fuck about Marcus and his weird nose. Har du läst kommentarerna? Ja, men folk är sjuka online. Jag tror att det är bättre att jag bara har koll själv och svarar på vissa kommentarer och har kontroll. Guys, I'm sorry. I stand by what I said last season. I don't love these two friends. Rosh and Ayub, I think his name is. Oh, not the F word. I'd be, I'd be deleting social media, I would be. I mean, that's what I do these days. And I'm not shagging a royal, you know? I know that Erik treffed people, but there was nothing that went out of the public. Private, private. I would like to know, though, was he dating men? <laughs> Or was it just in general his private life was kept private? Best of all, can't you hold us in some man? Till a crutch, son. No, not for me. It's kind of hard to do that though when someone's trying to make it public. You know, someone's got it in for you and they're trying to expose it. Sara. Why did I think she was going to have killed herself then? <laughs> I think I need to relax, but that's where my brain went. Okay, stunning. Fuck me. <laughs> She's going to her dad. Yeah. Can I sleep here? Yeah, of course. Come in. Fair. We're having some space. Okay. Okay, Felice. This is an intervention. You know, we'll start by cleaning your room. Yeah. Get all the bad energy out. Love her. I've always loved her. She's great. Me and her would be friends. Where are her? New York, bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're going to New York straight after school finishes. Okay, stunning. I, I mean, I'm down. Take me to fucking New York, ladies. Oh. Mm. Guys, I don't fucking trust it. I reckon some of the one of these bitches is gonna t talk some shit to somebody. I don't know. And I think it might be Blondie, out of the three. Don't trust her as far as, far as I can throw her, to be honest. What's the article? What is it? Oh, about the initiations. De var tvungna att dricka varandras spott och alla tvingades klara av sig. Drink each other's spit, yeah. Yeah, they all spat in a cup, right? And then he had to drink it. I remember. Senast satt det gay på en film på en tv. Han fick ett stånd pickades ut under hånskratt. I did in fact tell you you were gonna be seeing me again. I did not catch that. That little diddy of information there about the gays and the laughing at them. Didn't catch that on my initial watch, but I'm here just to say, fuck these boys, right? I'm, what comes next? I agree. Disgusting behavior. Big fat one of them to them boys. These initiation bastards, all right? Moving forward. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm all about this. I'm all about us breaking these old wanky traditions. Who is this in a fucking white blazer? Hello, cheekbones. Good morning. Good morning to you, Queenie. I'm Vanessa Hamilton and I'm a teacher. It's done a report to the school inspection. We've decided that it's time to take the hard hats. The crack in the whip. Okay. Whoppa! <laughs> All a schemalagd activitet upphör idag. Okay, no one's having fun. Right, we're bringing the school into it. We're dragging the school into it. No one's having fun anymore, okay? <laughs> Got it. Det kommer att råda ett utegångsförbud efter klockan 19 på kvällarna för samtliga elever. So we're turning this into a prison? <laughs> okay then. Jag kommer inte kunna hänga. Vi inte kan uppvisa att Hillerska är en trygg miljö. Hillerska kan tvingas stänga. Med omedelbar verkan. 
Am I the only one who, who thinks that might not be the worst thing? I suppose it would fuck some people up, obviously, like to have to up, up from the school and leave and go to another one and figure all that shit out. I understand that. But it's an old wanky school anyway. Like, it's not the most progressive or accepting. Like, it's very... I mean, it's already very strict, in my opinion. Obviously, don't get me wrong. Like, yes, people were, like, doing some crazy shit out of school hours and whatnot. And yes, we had some fun parties. But that... Low-key, that's kind of part of being... Young. Those things do just happen. So I guess, yeah, they're, they're cracking the whip now. We're not allowed to have fun no more. Which I guess is kind of understandable because the initiations are gross, I'm sorry. As much as it's tradition. There, there was a lot of other bullshit, like the whole thing about meals. I remember last season, Ville being like, why the fuck have we got to wait while you get your food just because you're in a year above us? Like, what is this hierarchy? We're all in this school, we're all the same. We're all, we're all equal here, you know? Like, there's been a lot of stuff like that, like, random shitty traditions that, like, the school just already has put in place. That, yeah, that's a bullshit, baby. Fuck it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too bothered as of right now. Obviously, I don't know how this is going to affect us moving forward. But right now, that doesn't sound like the worst thing to crack the whip a little bit. But who knows? I, I, I've been wrong before, you know? But yeah, guys, that's going to be episode one. Fuck me. Well, it's very clear we're determined to be together as of right now. And I think this is what we need. And like I've kind of hit on throughout the episode, I feel like it would set sh such a statement if the royal family just tried to be progressive. Because this is, this is where the disconnect is happening. It's, it's like they're so willing to not change and traditions can't change. And like, I feel like this is just going, like this is kind of being emulated throughout the whole show at this point in time like with the school and everything like it's all about traditions and everything not being able to change for the better you know and i just feel like if the royal family just backed villa completely like that's gonna inspire a bunch of people that otherwise would would have something negative to say i feel like because a lot of people do look up to the royals you know I don't know, that's just my thoughts. Like like I said earlier, I think that could be just wishful thinking, but it's a nice thought to have, you know? And that would be a very nice way of wrapping up the series, like us actually giving it a shot at being progressive and actually letting things change and allowing our son to be who he truly, authentically wants to be, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna stop chatting because I've been chatting long enough. Uh, not sure when you'll get episode two. It, it should be relatively soon, who knows? There's a lot of things I'm trying to juggle at once here, so I'll try and make it soon enough for everything. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll be here all season, okay? Check out the others if you've not yet. I've done both season one and two on the channel. And yeah, love you lots. See ya, goodbye.